Wolf Ranch. Colorado River is flowing. <coughs> it's just approaching the boat launch here and you can see the sign is underwater, which indicates, as we've been told previously, that the river is very high right now. We're just gonna pop our toes in and feel it. You can see it's flowing like crazy right here, so not a good place for a swim, that's for sure. It's also murky as H. <laughs> oh, it's cold though, yeah. For sure. Feels good. We do not have our timed entry until 2 p.m. today, so we are planning a little beach day here, but not happening, no swim, but We'll get some breakfast and then we'll uh, head over to the park and get our hike in. Just log cabin. Pretty well insulated as well. And of course, no desert home goes without the roots. Are. I see a couple up there, yeah. Let's check out the sign. Stories on stone. Oh. American Indians treasure rock markings like these because they were carved by their ancestors hundreds to thousands of years ago. That's crazy. A thousand years. That is crazy. It's still there. Quick image of what we're looking at right up here. With the zoom. It says it's related to the Ute or Ute people. Ute people. Pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder why they put it there. That is the real question. Who do we ask? I don't know. <laughs> Venturing a guess as to why those peppers were thrown in. I think maybe there was like a hunting party. At least that's what's drawn and depicted on the map. And maybe they camped there for a moment and they looked out here. Crazy. See what they get home. I like that idea. Spent the night there and wrote their story down as they, as they said. It was a successful hunt. Okay. <laughs> Howdy folks, I'm Eric, and this is Norse American Adventures. You join us once again in Arches National Park. Today we are doing Wolf Ranch, Petroglyph Trail, and Delicate Arch Trail. It's about 3.5 miles altogether. We have just started, as you saw, we hit the Wolf Ranch and the Petroglyphs right off the bat. So we're heading on to the main occasion, Delicate Arch, and we have about 600 feet of elevation up ahead of us, so we're going to get right to it.
Alrighty folks, that was the Delicate Arch, the most iconic of arches at Arches National Park. You've seen it on license plates, you've seen it in movies, you've <laughs> definitely seen it on the TV, and now you've seen it on YouTube. Thanks to us. Just kidding. <laughs> the sun was strong, but we were shirtless, so it was not too much of an issue. Stayed hydrated. There was a bit of a line at the Delicate Arch, but we got a lot of good footage. Heading back down now, just passing the Wishbone Arch. Gonna head back to the car, should be about two and a half miles. That's a big one. Think, you think it's the one they were they were telling us about? That is the that looks like five feet to me. Yeah. Holy cannoli. Look at that shit. Nice color. Isn't a snake? Yeah, yeah, a pretty big one. You were very close to just walking about you know, a foot from it. I mean, it would have been scary to me. I wouldn't have been. It yeah. Been it was on its way yeah. out, as is. And we've reached the downhill again. Shouldn't take long at all. Oh, you can see the lot from here. Yeah. Closest parking yet. Honda, Honda, Honda. We have completed Delicate Arch. We just got down to the car. Going to head over to the viewpoints and get a little bit more footage before we head on out. Let's see in the distance. You said you can see the people? Nice. Yeah, like less than an hour ago. Oh yeah, you can even see them posing for the picture. <laughs> no picture. Looks like there's a lot more people up there now. There's definitely a line on the rim there. So far away. As you can see, we've been slowly crossing off the map. Only got another day or two left here in Arches National Park before we head on over to Canyonlands. The Delicate Arch Trail was gorgeous. I loved it, honestly, and the payoff at the end was huge. That is probably one of the most iconic pictures of landscapes in the U.S., to be honest. Yeah. It was a relatively easy to moderate hike. It was easy to follow. Lots of trail markers along the way. It was a bit steep going up the rock face, but not a problem at all. I would say this one is highly recommended for people of all ages. Uh, we got a lot in in just 3.5 mile out and back. Started with the Wolf Ranch and then we hit the Petroglyphs and then we hit the Delicate Arch to finish it off. So absolutely gorgeous hike. Glad we got it done. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below and we will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>